What is up, friends? Uh, it's been a little while since I've live streamed, and I'm excited to live stream today. We're going to be working on the advanced remix workshop that I'm giving with Ryan um, in about two weeks, less than two weeks now. Um, and so uh, Ryan and I have talked about all the things that we want to teach. Um, and so it's going to uh, just a matter of uh, creating the material, which um, sometimes it's the hardest part. <laughs> so hopefully we can get this done soon uh, or it, soon enough. Um, and so, yeah, the um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just mention that I ignore the chat on YouTube because uh, that just never ends up working out well. I'm not streaming uh, to like interact with the community. I'm actually trying to get work done and I'm just happened to be streaming while I'm doing that. Um, and so if I were streaming, it's like, hey, let, you know, that's what I do on Fridays. That's my office hours thing. So if you want to like interact with me and ask me questions and stuff like that, that's for office hours. You can go uh, just Google Kent C. Dots office hours to learn about that. Um, and uh, yeah, if um, oh, shoot, it just occurred to me that I uh, created the, the link that's in the description of this video will send you to the wrong uh, channel, Discord channel. So I'm going to create a new one. Um, just give me a second and, um, I will update that. Um, there we go. And there it is. Oh, huh. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So now just give it like two seconds and then the le uh, link in the description will work, uh, send you to the right place. Um, but yeah, if you do like, if you notice me doing something wrong or whatever, you can totally chat in uh, the channel on Discord. It's called KCD Meetup. Um, and you know, one other thing that I'm gonna do is go to this live stream and uh, copy this link. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I'll, I'll share my screen in a bit. Just going to put that in the meetup chat thing too. So sweet. You're more than welcome to, to chat away um, on the in the live chat. Uh, just know that I will not uh, look at that at all. Um, so uh, good. I think I'm ready to share my screen now. And I've got my um, uh, centered app is running. Um, well done. And so that's Noah. That's uh, you'll find a link to the in the description for Centered as well. Um, actually, you know what? I've I've got a uh, I should update that link because if you go to my uses page um, and look for Centered, um, oh I guess I don't have a link for it. But if you use the um, Epic Flow, you'll get fifty percent off your first year of premium, which is cool. Um, maybe I should put that in the description too. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is what we're working on, Face, uh, Fake Books Remix. So if you've been to remix.run um, and scroll down, you'll see this um, Fake Books um, app, which is like uh, like an invoicing app sort of thing, a, a CRM or, or whatever, Customer Resource Management. Yeah, I think that's what that is, um, kind of dashboardy thing. Um, and so I implemented it here. Uh, both in Create React App and uh, with Remix. Uh, the reason I did that was I was gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of like loading times and stuff like that. Um, and I actually had like a blog post written out um, for it, but um, there were just a lot of things where it's like, well, we're not doing mutations yet. So there's a lot of code that you're not loading because we're not doing mutations and stuff like that. So it wasn't really a great comparison. Um, and so I, I didn't end up posting that blog post. Maybe eventually I'll, I'll make it once we make both of these apps like more fully formed. Um, but um, yeah, we have the, the basic piece all implemented and stuff and that, that's pretty cool. Um, so the objective here is we're going to implement a bunch of the features of this app um, and then use this app to um, uh, to teach advanced remix con concepts. So if I go to, um, let's see, uh, yeah, fake books remix, then this is uh, the app. We'll get this running locally. Uh, this is actually not using da a database and I probably will want to um, add that. Um, right now, all that it's doing is in the models 
Um, it has our invoice stuff in, just in memory in here. Um, and I think, you know what? I'm gonna add a task for me in Centered right now to implement like the full model and everything. So implement um, database and models. And, oh, and by the way, I um, you can flow with me if you want to, if you wanna get working um, I am in centered right now and it's in the the remix group. Um, I tweeted about it recently. Uh, okay, so this implementing the data stuff probably take an hour. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, okay, cool. Let's run the dev server, close this. Don't need that or that. Localhost, sales page, invoices, here we are. Okay, so we just need to get all of this in the database. Um, and what I've got, uh, based on what we've we've got here, we're going to need uh, customers. Um, yeah, there's there's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, we're not going to implement all of it, I think. Um, yeah, so we're going to need a customers model, uh, deposits. I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Um, customers invoices. Subscriptions we'll probably need. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll just do customers and invoices right now, and then we can add more models later. That's what migrations are for. So, uh, and the fun thing is that I did not bootstrap with uh, this with the um, 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 with the, the indie stack. I just started it from scratch. I think maybe I did the indie stack. Yeah, I think I did. Um, and then I just ripped out a bunch of stuff that I didn't uh, want uh, because I wasn't going to make it real. Um, interestingly, I do have an, some API routes, and this is actually what the Create React version of the app uses for its backend, which uh, is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, so anyway, we're going to... Um, uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Uh, probably easiest way is to... Um, Let's go to the this one wheel block thing, and we'll just copy, um, copy Prisma folder, stick it right there. We'll get rid of DB migrations, all that stuff. Uh, but now we've got the um, schema. Let's also copy the ENV stuff, and we'll copy the. Um, session, server, and utils, and db server. Um, and actually, you know what? We'll copy user, session, utils, and db server, all that stuff. Okay, cool. So now, um, let's update our schema. So we are gonna have users for sure. We're gonna, uh, there will be auth. Um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, we will not have notes or posts. Um, so we get rid of both of those, but we're going to have, um, yeah, customers, model, customer. Um, and what will customer have? Let me double check. I, I know that we have another page um, displayed here. Yeah, so this is dashboard. So that's highlighted drawing that should be on here. We've got new invoice, customer, net total, alerts and messages. Um, I don't think we're gonna need any of that stuff. It just takes you to the invoices. Okay, yeah, so we don't, we don't actually display anything about customers, which means I can decide what we're going to have for customers. Um, we're certainly gonna have an ID um, probably want to have, um, an email. Uh, yeah, we'll certainly want a created at and updated at. Always nice to have those. They're managed automatically for us anyway. Um, and then we'll have, um, name, uh, company, yeah, name, um, string, and then, um, 
I mean, maybe there's an address, but I don't think I want to get into the address stuff. Let's just double check our UI here. Here, and actually I've got my models for invoice. So, uh, yeah, I think name is, is all that we have from the customer on there. Um, yeah, so we've got the company name. We also have maybe a contact name, um, but no, we don't need to have that. I think that's probably enough. Uh, okay, so then um, invoices, model invoice. And here we're gonna have at least three of those things. Don't need the email. Um, and then, you know what, why do we have this space? We don't need that space. We don't need to create it out of password, that makes sense. We'll move that down here. So this is the stuff we don't generate, here's the stuff we do. And invoice is gonna have a number, a date, a customer, so uh, number, this will be, oh, you know what? I disabled Copilot. Enable, there we go. Not that I actually need, oh, you know what? I think I kind of made that funny. Copilot, enable, true. Um, I don't need special stuff for that. That looks good to me. Um, let's see what Copilot has to say about this number. String unique. Yep, that that's good. That makes sense. Um, here I, I make it a number, but I think it makes more sense as a string. Um, maybe if it's a, if it's not a number, then we probably shouldn't call it number. Um, so let's let's say it's a number and make it a number. And is there like, um, let's see, Prisma auto incrementing value. I think there's a way to do this. Uh, nope. Yeah, I seem to remember that uh, I once used this feature. Um, what? That is totally not what that was. Oh, I totally forgot. I have a meeting with somebody right now. Um, so I'm gonna uh, jump off and I'll come back on after my meeting with this person. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you in like an hour maybe. Sorry, that was abrupt. But yeah, see you soon.